Greetings folks, I have two uh, of the latest releases from Esheen to show you today. This is the Esheen Flying Fish FPV Glider. This is a 650mm wingspan, sub 250 gram twin motor little plane, looking very interesting. And the Mobius FPV Delta Wing, which is another 650mm wingspan, uh, little, little wing with um, wingtip fins and fuselage fins so hopefully this is going to be a, a nice and stable little FPV wing. In this video I'll have a look at both of them quickly. So here we have the wing, all one piece, tiny little 1105 5000kV motors with uh, 30163 related props. Uh, this is the FPV version, you can get the plug and play in the FPV version. FPV version has the Atom RC TX500 video transmitter and a little uh, fuselage there and a little uh, Foxeer Razer Nano camera already installed. You see this little piece of electronics here, that's a, a two-in-one ESC board and power distribution board. So uh, we have the aileron servos coming in to the board there and the two little ESCs uh, and we plug the uh, receiver in there as well and there's the video transmitter up the top there we have uh, four 4.3 gram digital servos uh, they're just going to be plastic gear I'm thinking spar going through the wing there reinforced control surfaces which is very nice and sort of a, a, an, an integral control on there that's all very good let's keep unpacking fuselage and now the big question is is it big enough is there enough space to fit in a flight control board I guess I guess you could uh, squeeze it in there there is a bit of space um, you have to make sure it didn't clash with the ASC system there but uh, I reckon with a bit of tweaking you, you probably could probably not designed to be used like that but um, we shall see Seems to be quite a stiff little EPP fuselage and it all just bolts together. Uh, the, there's the horizontal stabiliser that just slots in and there's a thumb screw to hold it in and we get an alternate canopy with a little GPS or camera cut out there. Not too sure, we'll work that out later on. We also get a couple of cables, uh, stick-on pads and uh, plastic or nylon screws to hold it together. There's the little manual, pretty decent manual. Uh, shows you all about the video transmitter as well as the specs on the plane there. And we get, uh, we get props. Interesting fixing method, I'll have to have a closer look at that. Not sure how they stay on, they may just be friction fed on, but yeah, we get a couple of spare props as well. Uh, ESCs are not individually connected to the receiver, they're, they're sort of bridged on the uh, 2 in 1 ESC. Throttle input are bridged on the connector. If you want to use differential throttle, please solder the input on the soldering pads. Uh, I'm not too sure which pads they're talking about, we're going to have to experiment with that to work it out, but anyway. Uh, as it comes, you don't have differential thrust. Is what we're getting at. Uh, and we get some stickers here as well. Alright, so that looks kind of intriguing. Um, sub 250 gram twin motor FPV plane. Very interesting indeed. I'm kind of looking forward to that one. And here's the other one, the little Mobular wing. Mobular, uh, there's a uh, a stingray like a manta ray that's called a mobuli, so maybe that's what it's named after. These things, uh, pretty sure they're made by Atom RC and they have this tradition of naming everything after marine creatures. Um, so, here we have the little fuselage there and it feels kind of heavy because it has all the electronics, motor, ESC, props and everything uh, stored in there. You have to put that all together yourself. We also get a collection of uh, plywood reinforcing, so there is a little bit of gluing and uh, assembling with that one, all pretty easy. There's the spar. Another manual, very similar to the uh, flying fish manual, and some stickers as well. 
and a battery strap. Now this one, the Mobula, 650mm wingspan, you can get in the kit, PMP or FPV version. This is the FPV version, so again we have the Atom RC TX500 VTX and the Foxair Razor Nano camera. Uh, flying weight 320 grams, maximum flying weight 420 grams, so it's not sub 250. Uh, and recommend, recommended battery is 4S 900 milliamp hours. And we have a uh, 2004 27kV motor and 5125 two bladed props and 9 gram digital servos. There's the little wings, the same sort of design, which is very good for a flexi little foam model. Reinforced and integrated control horns. Uh, cutouts for the servos, you do have to put the servos in yourself. I like the little uh, winglets on the wings, as well as the fins that go on the fuselage. So we have to cut these bits off, but they just fit on there like that. And we get a collection of uh, foam bits here, alternate nose plugs for different cameras or no camera. Got some little skids there as well, I think. Find out when we put it all together anyway. Okay, so two interesting little models from Esheen and Atom RC and Bangle. Hopefully it won't be too long before I take them out for a, for a test flight.